Coming up on Mustang News, a small restaurant has fallen victim in the city's six art robbery since June. And Cal Poly students attended the first concert of the year during WOW. Also, Cal Poly's week of welcome schedule had some changes added to it this year. Broadcasting live from Cal Poly in beautiful San Luis Obispo, this is Mustang News. Hello and welcome to Mustang News. I'm Dan Dempster. And I'm Laura Hoover. Here are some of today's top stories. Students can now buy alcohol on Cal Poly's campus. Allison Martinez reports on the changes and what students have to say about them. I was really excited to see uh, uh, Sculpin in there, you know, being a San Diego native. That's, I'm all about IPAs. Over the summer, Chow has been renovated into the new Mustang Station, where students 21 and over can now purchase beer and wine. In honor of National Drink Beer Day, we asked Cal Poly students how they feel about this change. I think it's wonderful. I think it's probably one of the best things that's happened to Cal Poly in a long time, especially since this is my last quarter. I am so grateful that I get to experience this. You know, we come through during tailgates and uh, we'll come by, you know, have a couple of beers with some friends. Um, I think it brings a lot of, uh, of the campus together, uh, especially around sports because they show a lot of sports there. They're really hyped on games. so. I like that aspect about it. I am really excited about all the changes coming to Mustang Station. Um, it's great that they are serving beer now as a recent 21 year old young adult. Um, it's nice that Cal has been accommodating to our students um, and I'm really excited to see where it goes next. Um, I was really excited to find out that they're serving beer and, out and wine there. Uh, you know, if it's a hot day like it was yesterday, I can just kind of go in and grab a pint really quick before class, making it a little more interesting. It is another resource for students to go to, a way to socialize, um, get to know the campus better, appreciate local breweries. Yeah, you know, a little IPA to brighten your day. I think college is all about empowering your students towards making adult decisions. And for those who are 21, um, obviously we are provided with the opportunities to drink and to do so responsibly. And for Cal Poly to acknowledge that, I think that's a step in the right direction. The Mustang Station does not start serving alcohol until 2 p.m. Cal Poly kicked off the school year with its Welcome Back concert. Peter Gonzalez covered the concert and talked to the headliners, Echo Smith. Cal Poly's ASI hosted its annual Welcome Back concert in partnership with new student transition programs. The headliners were the band Echo Smith. They played through a majority of their 2013 debut album, Talking Dreams. The band has been in the studio writing for the past year and recently worked with One Republic frontman Ryan Tedder. Ryan is amazing. He is obviously so talented and you'll look at the list of things that he's done and you're like blown away. Among the influences for the album are classical music, and their continued growth as artists and their life experiences. Now, you know, some of us are in love and, you know, we get to talk about that and get to talk about, you know, getting to travel the world and all these different experiences. Whereas before, I don't know, I was 14 or 15 when we were writing the first album and I didn't love anybody yet, you know, so it's totally a different perspective, you know, as you get older anyway. Their follow-up is due in the first quarter of 2017 with a single expected as soon as possible. I think it's going to be really relatable and we got, you know, kind of serious too on a couple songs and a little emotional at times with some strings, which helps. Um, but yeah, like we got to be so vulnerable and I think that, you know, people just naturally connect to that and I think it'll be really fun to hear what the world thinks. at the concert with their signature hit, Cool Kids. Peter Gonzalez, Mustang News. For more footage from the concert, visit mustangnews.net. Cal Poly's week of welcome experienced some changes at the beginning of fall quarter this year. The week is usually scheduled a week before classes start, but this year, classes began in the middle of week of welcome. In a statement from new student and transition programs, quote, our office's expectation was for all new students and student leaders to attend all of their classes. 
our office intentionally scheduled around the academic commitments of students so that there would be no scheduled conflicts affecting WOW activities. NSTP worked alongside other groups on campus to make sure all programs could run successfully during the new WOW schedule, including Greek Life. Quote, specifically related to Panhellenic recruitment, our office worked closely with them so all programs could be successful. Their final recruitment was determined on their own. NSTP said it is constantly looking for new ways to support students in the transition into Cal Poly. Students now have a new coffee destination close to campus. Scout Coffee's second location is now open. The owners of Scout Coffee, John and Sarah Peterson, opened a new location closer to campus. Sarah says why this new cafe is needed after having their downtown shop since 2014. Our downtown store was so busy, we had to line up the door most mornings, and I would watch people come in and walk out, and it was like, oh, shoot, like we really need to, there's more people that we could take care of that we're not able to. The busy lines aren't the only reason for expansion. Peterson says her bakers simply needed more kitchen space. We've been baking since day one downtown and our space was just so tiny so I'd been looking for commercial kitchens to rent so we needed a kitchen, we needed more space. Julie Gomez started with Scout in their downtown location. She is happy to have more space to create pastries as their new head baker. Transitioning into this kitchen was like really exciting for us, like more, like especially like for the bakers just because it's the space that we actually need and like bigger ovens and everything. Um, that we could make everything a lot easier than in the other space. We've got like our dream kitchen right now. Um, we're able to, you know, get people through the line faster. We have two registers, two espresso machines. We've got a lot of open views, the views of the mountains, and, you know, easy parking. The slow community is also excited about the new location. There's been so many people in the neighborhoods that have come in and just said like, thank you, you know, we needed this, this side of town was kind of underserved. Though Scout has a new store and a bigger staff, Peterson and her husband feel they have stayed true to their goal of creating a friendly and welcoming environment. We love building and we love creating, so you know, getting to put a new store together um, was just a really fun experience for us. Creating a unique atmosphere, um, kind of like an inspiring space, those things were all really important to us. The new Scout is located on Foothill Boulevard in the recently renovated University Square Shopping Center. Hoover, Mustang News. To learn more about Scout Coffee and their new shop, visit scoutcoffeeco.com. Coming up on Mustang News, students line up for free interview clothes. Cal Poly football has won three in a row and play on the road this weekend. A boy born in Joplin, Missouri was fascinated by anything with wheels and a motor. The odds of him winning both the Daytona 500 and the Brickyard 400 in the same year, one in 195 million. The odds of a child being diagnosed with autism, one in 68. I'm Jamie McMurray, and my niece has autism. Learn more at autismspeaks.org slash signs. A redhead <gasps> staring contest. You still got it. I know. Come alive with the forest. The dad is cute. You were looking right at us. Visit discovertheforest.org to find a forest near you. I'm a teacher. Let me tell you what I make. I make learning a privilege, not a chore, and frustration a tool, not an obstacle. I make working hard seem easy and giving up impossible. I make an old subject feel like a fresh thought and unconventional methods common. I'm a teacher. I make more.
Career Services hosted the first Cal Poly clothing closet this past Wednesday. Aimed at low-income students, the clothing closet provided students with the opportunity to choose from a variety of professional business attire, all free of charge. Ashley Eberly is a career counselor who helped to oversee the creation of the program. Really emotional, um, honestly, to be in there and see, um, for instance, students asking how much uh, they'll have to pay to take the clothing away and realizing that it's free and there's actually tears in their eyes um, because now it's one fewer expense that um, they no longer have to pay for. So the response has been so, so uh, overwhelmingly positive. Many of the donations came from the surrounding San Luis Obispo community, including Slow Chamber and Good Morning Slow, as well as the Cal Poly faculty and staff. Erica Stafero says that all students should feel confident in succeeding in their desired job field. So it's fun to be able to like help them um, get feel like uh, I'm sorry, gain confidence through like an outfit. So like if you help them pick it out and you know and they they walk out and they're really happy that this is going to be like a good outfit, a solid outfit for them to go interview and they feel confident leaving. I think that's the best part. Allison Staff, Mustang News. Career Services is located in Building 124 and aims at preparing students for the future by helping them work on skills such as interviewing and resume building. Police are looking for a suspect after a small restaurant was robbed at gunpoint last week in San Luis Obispo. Boba Stop, located on California and Taft, was robbed just, just after 11 p.m. last Tuesday when a man with a, hand ha with a handgun demanded the cash in the register. The suspect is described as a white man with blue eyes approximately six feet, two inches tall. This is the sixth armed robbery in San Luis Obispo since June, something that many local businesses don't expect. I just don't really think that that would happen in your own community. I just don't really think of Slow as that kind of city, that, that kind of town, um, especially with all the college kids. The Boba Stop robbery happened just under a mile away from campus, making it the closest armed robbery to Cal Poly of the recent six in the city. Police are investigating whether or not the six robberies are connected. In each case, the suspect wielded a semi-automatic handgun while demanding cash other businesses to be robbed included Panda Express, Trader Joe's, and the Lexington Inn. I think it's kind of absolutely revolting that somebody would want to steal from like this place. A place that's like so loved by not only the university but probably the public too. It's just kind of a petty thing because this place obviously probably does not carry that much money so why would you rob it in the first place? The specialty tea shop is the only one of its kind in San Luis Obispo and is still operating at its location at California and Taft. Police and San Luis Obispo County Crime Stoppers are offering a $1,000 reward for information leading to the arrest. Cal Poly Panhellenic Association's formal recruitment started last night, and the process is new this year. Instead of starting halfway through the first week like they have done in previous years, this year recruitment started halfway through the second week of the fall quarter. The initial goal was to move recruitment to WOW Week and reduce the amount of class conflicts for potential new members. However, the proposition was not passed once it reached administrative review by Vice President for Student Affairs because of a policy in the Deferred Recruitment Compromise which outlines when each of the Greek councils can start their formal recruitment periods. Panhellenic has the, extended the formal recruitment week to allow for more events. The week of September 28th to October 5th will include three tours for each chapter house instead of two, and two preference nights instead of one. Panhellenic expects the same number of potential new members to attend recruitment. However, they think the sizes of the groups at each event will shrink, making recruitment a better experience for chapters and potential new members. Coming up on Mustang News, we'll take an inside look at a historic slow theater. And Ayrton will have more on the weekend's forecast. There's a shelter pet who wants to meet you. Meet one today. Visit the shelterpetproject.org. Adopt.
I'm a teacher, let me tell you what I make. I make learning a privilege, not a chore, and frustration a tool, not an obstacle. I make working hard seem easy, and giving up impossible. I make an old subject feel like a fresh thought, and unconventional methods common. I'm a teacher. I make more. scissors and to follow the swimming rules you tell me to stay away from drugs to always buckle my seatbelt so why do you keep a loaded gun in your drawer how safe is that you ask them to follow some safety rules now they're asking you in fact they're counting on you never let your gun get into the wrong hands remember always lock it up visit ncpc.org the San Luis Obispo Little Theater is situated in downtown Slo, yet many have never heard, even heard of it. I think when outsiders look at theater, they might have a tendency to look at it as this kind of snobbish and, and boring art form. And, and I can totally understand that. There's a ton of bad theater out there. There's a ton of bad paintings out there, too, but you don't have to sit there and watch it for two hours. When you go to see a bad play, it'll stick with you. Founded in 1947, the Little Theater put on 25 plays last year alone, one of the most by a nonprofit theater company in all of California. Harris says that the theater experience is one for the books. There's, there's nothing better than hanging out in the theater. I mean, that's what I've been doing my whole life. This is the best place to hang out ever. You meet an amazing group of people. You make lifelong friends. And there's, there's nothing like working on a live theater production to teach you about collaboration and to, to just bring a group of people together to create something beautiful. Harris says that the point of art is to learn empathy. And that's the purpose of all art, is being able to see someone else's point of view. And so you can hopefully adjust your own point of view a little bit. Even if their point of view is crap and you hate everything about it, at least it's going to change you in a way. Harris hopes that more Cal Poly students will get involved as the theater continues to grow. Michael Frank, Mustang News. For more information, visit slowlittletheater.org. The first presidential debate aired Monday evening. Ayrton Ostley has more on what happens in the first debate of the season. Presidential nominees Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump squared off in the first debate of the election season Monday night. An average of 84 million people watched the debate, breaking the record of 80.6 million people set in 1980 in a debate between Jimmy Carter and Ronald Reagan, according to Nielsen Holdings. Moderator Lester Holt started off with questions about job growth in America, and it wasn't long before the two candidates began arguing. I have a feeling that by the end of this evening, I'm going to be blamed for everything that's ever happened. Why not? Why not? Yeah, why not? <laughs> jo you know, just, just, just join, uh, join the debate by uh, saying more crazy things. The debate topics would later become more controversial, going over Trump's tax returns and Clinton's emails. You've got to ask yourself, why won't he release his tax returns? And I think there may be a couple of reasons. First, maybe he's not as rich as he says he is. Second, maybe he's not as charitable as he claims to be. Third, we don't know all of his business dealings, but... When you have the man that set up the illegal server taking the fifth, I think it's disgraceful. And believe me, this country thinks it's disgraceful. It really thinks it's disgraceful also. By the end of the hour and a half debate, Trump was arguing her lack of stamina to perform as president. As soon as he travels to 112 countries and negotiates a peace deal, a ceasefire, a release of dissidents, an opening of new uh, opportunities in nations around the world, or even spends 11 hours testifying in front of uh, a congressional committee, he can talk to me about stamina. Majority of exit polls showed Clinton as the winner of the debate, including this one from CNN ORC showing her with a 62 to 27 percent gap. The next debate will be Sunday, October 9th at Washington University in St. Louis. That debate will be more of a town meeting type of setting, with half of the questions coming from the audience. I'm Eric Mustang News. 
And once again, I'm Eric Tanasley here with your Mustang News Weather Report. Now, earlier in the week, we had some record high temperatures thanks to a high pressure system. However, marine layer characteristic of the Central Coast has returned and with it, a little bit lower temperatures. You can see over here, when you go above the grade into Paso Robles, that marine layer isn't having much of an effect. It's only going to be about 89 degrees, still pretty warm. If you go down more south towards Creston and Tascadero and Santa Margarita, going to cool off a little bit and then getting down to San Luis Obispo, 82 degrees, 20 degrees difference from earlier in the week. Now, if we move along to our South County, there we are. Now, even though it was cooler in the North County, it's going to be even more cooler down in South County. We have a low of 67 in Vandenberg. Meanwhile, Arroyo Grande at 71. That's still getting a little cool. Now, take it over the beaches. And it's going to be a little bit warmer in the South County, surprisingly enough. We have about 78 in Morro Bay, 76 in Cayucas, 75 in Avila Beach, 76 in Pismo. Looks like a great day to go to the beach today. Now, getting on to our five-day forecast, once again, that marine layer returning will lead to some cooler temperatures and some wind by the weekend. Starting out with 82 today, going to get a little bit cooler on Friday, warm up a bit for Saturday, and stay cooling into next week. I'm Eric Tanosley, and that's your Mustang News Weather Report. Coming up after the break, a weekend preview for Cal Poly Sports. My new mom and I have a lot in common. <sighs> the great outside. We both love the outdoors. So shiny. That's not a flower. We both love geology. Oh, look. An igneous one. That's not a rock. And she knows a lot about wildlife. <gasps> a labradoodle. That's not a dog. Hanging out has been kind of fun. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of kids in foster care will take you just as you are. A full life measured in seats starts with the right ones early on. Car crashes are a leading killer of children 1 to 13. Learn how to prevent deaths and injuries by using the right car seat for your child's age and size. Don't worry, the 74 people were picked before me in the NFL draft. To fight childhood obesity, United Way and the NFL are helping kids play at least 60 minutes a day. Okay, time for the team obstacle course. Yay! What this place needs is more healthy kids. To get involved or donate, go to unitedway.org slash play60. Now I get it. Hey, did you know 2.4 million loving cats and dogs in shelters and rescues need our help to find a home? Let's go to theshelterpetproject.org and meet a few are in a shelter near you. Harlo, oh, she's one great listener who loves to hear all your stories. My kind of cat. Cerulo is a sweet, goofy boy who's eager to please. Sounds just like another dog I know. So go to theshelterpetproject.org, search your local shelters and rescues, and go for a cuddle with your next best friend. Adopt. After beating the FCS 6th ranked Montana Grizzlies last weekend, the Cal Poly football team has moved up to 16th in the FCS rankings. The Mustangs scored a touchdown with four minutes left in the fourth quarter to win 42-41. Quarterback Daniel Graves was named the Coca-Cola Athlete of the Week with his performance. This Saturday, the 3-1 Mustangs traveled to North Dakota to take on the 2-2 two two Hawks. Kickoff is at 11 a.m. and you could watch the game streaming live at calgopoly.com. After taking on the number 14 ranked Hawaii Warriors, the Cal Poly volleyball team plays a pair of games on the road. In their first game this weekend, the Mustangs go to Long Beach to take on the 49ers at 7 p.m. You could see that game tomorrow night streaming at calpoly.com or on ESPN3. On Saturday, Cal Poly travels to CSUN to play the Matadors in Northridge. You could watch the game on BigWest.org. The Cal Poly men's soccer team beat the sixth ranked UCLA Bruins 1 0 last weekend. This was the first time the Mustangs played the Bruins since losing 2 0 in the NCAA tournament last season. Cal Poly starts its road trip this weekend tonight with a matchup at Cal State Fullerton. The game will be streaming live on BigWest.org. On Saturday, the Mustangs continue their road trip with a game at UC Riverside Saturday night. These games are the first two of the 2016 conference schedule. Four other sports play this weekend, cross country, women's soccer, tennis, and golf. 
The women's soccer team hosts Hawaii tomorrow to open the Big West play before heading to Fullerton to take on the Titans. Women's tennis opens its fall season in going to Cal Poly, the Cal Nike Invitational, starting on Friday. Women's golf travels to Palm Desert, California to play the Wyoming Cowgirl Desert Intercollegiate Classic on Saturday and Sunday. And the cross country team heads to Palo Alto for its second race of the season at Stanford Invitational Saturday morning. That's all for sports. Dan and Laura, back to you. Thank you, Nate. Coming up next on Mustang News, highlights from the football game against University of Montana. Me and my boy Matt had it good. He had catnip that was off the hook. But one day, he brings a girl home, and she's allergic to cats. Every sneeze was a nail in my coffin. Now I'm in a shelter. It's decent, but they don't even have Wi-Fi. Maybe he's really focused. Hey, Michael. Michael. Maybe he likes spinning the wheels. Maybe he just loves trucks. Maybe he's just being a boy. Preoccupation with objects is one early sign of autism. Learn the others today. The sooner it's diagnosed, the better. They say that when you're facing extreme danger, your life flashes before you. If you think that's sad, consider facing it before you even have enough life to flash before your eyes. Deaths and injuries can be prevented by using the right car seat. Visit safercar.gov slash the right seat to know what is appropriate for each age and size. cheerleader and now comedian will be performing at Cal Poly next week. Angela Johnson became an internet sensation with her comic viral video, Nail Salon, leading up to many stand-up, television, and film opportunities. Now, uh, me and my sister, we go over, um, it's a place called Beautiful Nail. I was kind of confused when I first read the sign, though. Beautiful Nail. <laughs> Just one. <laughs> Just one nail. Do I get to pick which one? Or no. Role as Bon Kui Kui as part of Mad TV. Johnson will be performing on Wednesday, October 5th at the Cal Poly Performing Arts Center. Tickets ticket prices vary and are available at tickets.calpoly.edu. Oktoberfest kicks off this weekend at the Madonna Inn and Expo Center. Madonna is pairing up with Firestone Brewing Company to provide an authentic German meal and brew. Tickets start at $70 and can be found at eventbrite.com. Thanks for watching Cal Poly TV. I'm Dan Dempster. And I'm Laura Hoover. We'll leave you with some footage from the Cal Poly football game against Montana.